Hello everybody, this is Mason from the Introduction to Java class with Tatiana Volk. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, zip your project, um, transfer your project over to a flash drive or something else, and then unzip your project and reopen it with jCreator. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to open up jCreator. Um, obviously when you go to open uh, a new project, you'll file new, basic Java applet, and then we'll just do name it right here, then you click on a location, the little eclipse sees here, and then you are going to choose where you want to uh, save it. Now I save all my stuff to Google Drive, which is basically the same thing like Dropbox. Um, it's just a cloud sharing thing. I have all of my uh, stuff here that way in between my laptop and my uh, desktop everything synced so I can work on projects on the go on my laptop so far. So I created a jcreator folder here. So just click on the the uh, the root there, click OK, so then it'll change all three of them for you, hit finish. You should probably already all know this, but um, here you go. Now when you want to um, go ahead and zip it, you go File, and then you would typically go Save, um, that would finish it, you go Close Out, go ahead and browse to that directory now um, of where you were at. This is only going to work for Windows, so you find the folder, your bulk folder, you open it up, um, you should have a classes folder, a source folder, and the main thing we want here is a, you know, whatever you named your applet.jcw. This is a, um, a J, this is Java Creator uh, or jCreator um, workspace folder or file. So go ahead and go back, right click that folder, go down to send to, and then click compress zipped folder. What it'll do is it'll automatically just make a zipped um, file of that fi folder. So if you click on it, you open it up. Um, yours might look a little bit different. I use WinRAR. I just like it a little bit more. So you guys probably use the Windows version of it, but go to video demonstration, you'll see everything's right there. So um, when you want to uh, go ahead, let's say you move this over or whatever to somewhere else, and now you want to kind of open it up and whatnot on your on a different computer, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go and open up the zip, and then you just you can either use the extract to option and you know, choose where you want to extract it to. Otherwise, I just, you know, dra drop, drag and drop it out. Um, so there we go. Now we have our video demonstration there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to open it now. So you can open up jCreator. You're going to go to File. Um, a lot of people think they want to do Open, but you don't. You want to go to Open Workspace. What this does is it's going to um, open up the entire entirety of your jCreator workspace. It's only going to work with jCreator. You couldn't bring this over to a different program or something like that and open it like this. This is only going to work with jCreator um, workspace projects. So go ahead, browse to where you, you know, drag and drop that folder or unzipped it or extracted, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you're going to open that up, video demonstration. Then you only, as you can see down here, the file type is going to be .jcw, so it's only if you go classes, you're not going to see anything, go to source, you're not going to see anything, you're only going to see this .jcw file inside of your uh, the root folder there. So you double click it, open it, and everything should work just fine. So, and as you can see it runs just fine, I didn't have to, nothing should have changed, um, you should be good to go. You can, um, once you open it like that, it's going to so if you open a JCW, you're going to have it, your recent workspaces over here. It's going to show up. Um, so if, let's say, all of a sudden I decided, oh, I don't really think it's a very good idea to have my video demonstration folder on my desktop. Who knows, I might accidentally delete it, or maybe I'm on a shared computer. Um, you can mo move it to somewhere else, like move it to Google Drive. Um, the issue being is, once you do that, you're going to have to, um, inside a jCreator, you can't just click on it over here. You have to reopen it, um, mainly because it just it won't work. As you can see on the very bottom of my screen now, it it thinks that it says uh, open workspace value equals you know Mason to desktop, and then video demonstration video demonstration .jcw. If I click on that, it says it's it's not gonna it doesn't find it. So like I said, all you have to do is reopen it through the file open workspace, and then uh, where you recently had it, and you're good to go. So yeah, it worked just fine. So hope that helps for some of you that are just getting uh, used to jCreator or having issues opening up certain workspaces and whatnot. Um, if for whatever reason you didn't 
it, it still goes bad after that. What probably happened is during the, it, you know, when you were zipping that file, um, typically what happens is some files, um, like let's say your NJ creator or whatever, and you then decided to zip the file while jcreator was still open. Well, jcreator might not allow you to zip files that it currently has open. So what you want to do is make sure when you go to zip that file, like we said, right click and then send to compress zip folder. Make sure that you know you save with jcreator and then close it down before you try to zip it. So that'll get rid of most problems.